and welcome to this minute sort of a mini build. It's ten minutes, so it's a bit of fun. Bring us into the week, I suppose, and it's the matchbox. Flying bug. I bought a job lot off eBay. And this little beauty were nestled in there. Pretty much hidden under the other stuff. And really, to be honest, it's as mint as it gets. It's just that the front wheels are missing. I think personally it's a factory error. Because there's no play wear on it. So I think it escaped the factory with no front wheels. Which is regular on the amount Matchbox produced them. They got the occasional factory error made it out. And I think this is one of their. As there's no markings or damage to suggest they were ripped out. So they've either sent it out without the axle being rounded at the end and they've just fell out very soon after purchase and it got thrown into a toy box or they weren't even put in at all. <coughs> but the amount of worse suggests this has never been played with in any great sense of the word. Because there's nowhere on the wheels, as you can see, I'm going right in there. There's a very bit of wear onto the top of Herman's helmet, which suggests just toy box wear. And here's my previous best example. I've decided not to restore this one, even though it's got paint missing because it's a rare example it's as the main release but I think it's an early one and the actual transfer on the bonnet was square rather than cut to shape anyway here we go quick look around it see just how clean it is and my exercise here is to get new wheels on it without opening it. And here's my donor. A matchbox box dragon. And here I'm just opening up the bed to release the release the wheels. Release? Sound it Chinese then. Oh release. And there we go. The actual Volkswagen is opened up and it will be a subject of a very close coming up build. Anyway, after the parts I'm after, i.e. the wheel set, I don't really want to damage the ankle. Axle, ankle. Oh, nitrant axle on this. So I'm trying to pry it up, I had a few goes. It's a bit of dirty palm this, so it's faded and out of focus. Just leave you guessing what's going on. And there we go, it's out. And no damage to the axle on the other casting. To do what we're thinking of doing. I didn't want to grind too much off the end so I can push it back on and click it back on into place. I actually put a dab of super glue on it as well to hold it, make sure. But it was fairly firm anyway when it went on. I just took enough on to slide the wheel off, but not so it slid off easily so it was still quite a bit of a pull to pull it off so I could then push it back on the technique is not taking too much off it so you can pull the wheel off then push it on and it's still secure 
I know I said I put super glue on, but that's just for extra security. Because at the end of the day, it's not going to be played with anyway. It's only a display model. And here I am, pushing the axle back in. I really didn't want to split this, because if it is a factory error, the wheels can still be removed and it still has a, its genuine factory rivet and everything on it but I wanted a mint one so I wanted the wheels back on it which did well really to be quite honest, they're back on there and it looks well. Well, as you'll see at the end of this. And here I am just knocking it back in with hammer. Only a gentle tap's required. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we are, just going over it with some Molotov ink. Just to tidy up the... They weren't absolutely mint wheels I found, but they're pretty tidy. Enough for a good display model. And there we are, just dragging the ink around. Here we are, to the side. A um, bit better shot. Just making it look quite a bit better. as I'm going. It'll pass. There we go. Blub 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 And here we have the finished result. I suppose you could say it's Matchbox's version of Hot Wheels's Red Baron. Except I think this is much cooler. I think it's much, much cooler than the Red Baron. It's got the character in there with the German tash and a monocle. He's got the Pickle Hope helmet on. And it's got a tail fin, the jet engines on it, which the Germans at the end of World War II were uh, bringing out jet aircraft, as well as the British, it has to be said. And the sticker's nice and fresh as well. And nowhere on the tyres. It's about as good as it gets for finding it in amongst a uh, stash of scrap cars, really. An eBay scrapyard lot. That's as good as it gets. A very pretty example. And um, oh, what an absolute! I knew it was decent because the rear fin wasn't smashed, and I wanted one for a full restoration for the channel. But it was too good to strip and do a restoration on. Anyway, bye for now. Take care.